ton of people seem to be asking the question, why did Netflix lose 200,000 plus subscribers? The answer, 365 days got a sequel. So welcome to my latest video. This is obviously my review for 365 days this day. So it's funny that the title is called This Day because truthfully, I was like hoping, really, really hoping that this day wouldn't come. That's right, where a sequel for 365 days would come out. I hated the first entry. I really did. But I knew that there was going to be this like obligation to watch any sequels that came out. And I was like, please, 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 please. It lost money. Please, please, please. And of course, it probably didn't because it had the number one slot on Netflix for quite some time. But I didn't really hear about a sequel until my friend Sergey, shout out to you, uh, reached out to me today, the filming of this video, and said, hey, you know, the sequel to 365 Days came out. I was like, dude, why did you tell me that? And he said, well, because I know how much you're going to love the movie. You know, you, you, you got to review it. And I'm like... Like he knows me, so he knows that I'm going to watch it, I'm going to review it, and I, of course I hated it. I hated it more so than the first one. I, I really did. And I, I honestly, like, part of, me, part of me wants to freak out. Part of me really does, because this is truly, truly an atrocious movie. Like, there's bad, there's like so bad it's good movies. There's like, you know, movies that it's like, hey, it's a, you know, it's like a comedy almost, even though it's not supposed to be. But then there's movies where it's so dull and trying to be so sexy that it fails on even that basic level. They just can't help but wonder, why? Why is this movie around? Why? Oh, because people want to have sex scenes? Well, guess what? The sex scenes weren't even that good. They were shot as if it's a music video. It's like slow motion. And then on top of that, they have the worst song choices. Like, look, I know I'm someone that prefers, you know, obviously score, lyrical music. I mean, instrumental music over lyrical music, which is what soundtrack is. But look, Lord help me, I, I can really appreciate good soundtracks. I can. But this movie's soundtrack is so bad and so off-putting that a lot of times I thought it was just like a commercial. And there's so many instances where it's like, okay, this is literally a, a three-minute scene that is clearly trying to establish like the environment. Like, oh, look at this, look at this. You want to visit here? You want to visit here? You too can be with someone and bang them to death. I mean, like, look, this movie is literally the Fifty Shades Darker of this franchise. There is little to no plot. And I'm someone that loves art house films. I'm someone that likes slice of life movies. But this is neither of them. This is just terrible. This is a movie that would have worked better as a short film. And even then, would have been good. You know why? Because this movie doesn't deserve to be on even Netflix. It deserves to be on Pornhub. But even then, I can't really see anybody jerking off to this movie. I really can't. I don't know what this movie is trying to do. I really don't. I, I, I really am struggling to find something about this movie that I liked. Yeah, there were some nice shots. But, I mean, the acting, it's atrocious. It's really, really bad. And I'm someone that usually doesn't really say that. I'm usually like, oh, the acting was okay. Or, oh, it was really good. No, the acting here was atrocious. I mean, every single performance, especially the ending. Oh, my goodness. So, the ending is clearly... Trying to be tragic, but it fails miserably because you just don't care about these characters. They're so underwritten. I mean, clearly these characters are not supposed to be people that you care about. But there are so many instances where they're trying to hit home that you care about them. It's like, you care about them, right? You care about them, right? It's like, no, I, I really don't. I really don't. These are just characters that you're using to have sex scenes and then go from place to place to advertise. That's it. That's it. And I mean, let's also talk about the messages. Um, clearly not sending a great message. Clearly not. I mean, not that the director cares. She really doesn't. And apparently there's a male director now, too. So the sex scenes are even more hetero than before. I mean, look, guys, look, if you like this movie, that's fine. But for me personally, I thought Blacklight was probably going to be the worst movie of 2022. I was like, I, it's going to be hard to beat. But this movie definitely takes the cake. Lord help me. Oh, also, just wanted to throw it out there. You guys can check out my full review on Letterboxd, but just want to throw it out there. There's a character that talks about the word vendetta. And it's like, yeah, I always hear the word vendetta, but like, do you know what it means? Like, do you know? And it's like, are we seriously having this conversation about a word like vendetta? Are, are, are we serious here? Like, y'all are a part of the gangsters. You're the mob and everything. Like, and you're saying you don't know what vendetta means? Like, oh yeah, I keep hearing that word, but I don't know what it means. It's like, what? 
I'm sorry. I, I'm really trying to find the words for this movie, but like, what? Oh, dude. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ah! 365 days. Felt like it was 365 days. And it was only 111 minutes. And on this day, I am declaring that I hope Netflix doesn't make a third entry. But you know something? They're going to. And you know what? I'll probably watch it and lose my mind. Thanks, Netflix. So I will be giving 365 days this day a... Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Netflix. Oh, my goodness. But guys, 365 days this day. Did you like it? Did you not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, follow me on Letterboxd. And I'll catch you guys later.